What's going on YouTube? Rob here with Arcadia Everything, here to talk about clogs. No, not the clogs in your toilet. We're gonna talk about the three major clogs that you will find on your X1 Carbon. The number one clog you're gonna find is most likely gonna be in your extruder nozzle. Number two is gonna be in the back side, and number three is gonna be in your AMS. We're gonna come over here, look at some tools that we're gonna to use today. Right off the bat, we're gonna have our large Allen key. This thing comes with your X1 Carbon. Another thing that comes with your X1 Carbon is a 0.4 millimeter nozzle extruder cleaner. It comes in that little tube. We also have our AMS disconnect tool. Check out our video on that one. Link is in the description. And a little pliers to pull out some wires here. So let's get into it. Whether you're a seasoned vet or a novice, you are gonna most likely run into this problem. It is our number one clog issue that we have come across, and that is on the extruder nozzle. So, we're gonna get into it here. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, if you have filaments loaded into your printer, you're gonna to wanna to come to your screen. You're gonna to wanna to go into your settings. If you have an AMS, you're gonna go into the filament, and you're gonna unload whatever filament you have in the machine. Once that's done, we're gonna come back to here. We're gonna to go to our temperatures and axes. And right here, this top portion is going to be our extruder nozzle. We actually want to raise the temperature in this because if the clog is in the extruder nozzle, we need to get that plastic uh, melted so that we can push it through. So the first thing, we're gonna to go to 200. That'll be good enough for this. We're gonna press okay. The extruder nozzle is gonna warm up and while that's going, I'm gonna Take off our AMS and our top glass so you guys can see. Now while that's warming up, on the, on the actual head, we're gonna go ahead and pull off the plastic cover. I'm gonna set that aside. And you can see right here, we have two black headed Allen screws. We're gonna use our Allen key and we're gonna start to loosen those up. Now once we got those loose, you can hear probably in the video there is a little fan noise and there is a fan connected to the extruder nozzle. Now the, the cables are pretty tight and the reason why we have our little, uh, our little pliers here is because we're going to undo the fan. So you can see this connection right here and give that a little wiggle. Pull the fan off, that way you don't hit it against your, uh, your components there. So once that's done, we're going to pull out of our the bolts out of our holes. Now this extruder is going to come straight down. Now typically if you have a clog you're going to see a little bit of filament in here. If not it's going to be lodged down in there. So you're just going to wait for your temperature to get up to whatever you set it to. We like usually do it at 200. We're going to take our little needle and we're just gonna find the center of the extruder. You always wanna push back into the, to the nozzle to try to get that clog out. If you've ever, if you've ever thread a needle, it's gonna be kinda like that. So there we go. And we don't have a clog in this unit, but we're just gonna push it up in there, back and forth. Typically your clog will come up the top. Maybe it'll be a little burnt. Maybe it's a little piece of filament. Sometimes there's debris in there from filament. So once that's done, obviously this, this thing's hot, so be careful. We're gonna put it back up in there, nice and snug. We're gonna connect the fan up as quickly as possible. Do, 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 do. There we go. So with that all said and done, we're gonna put our screws back in. Now that is the most common clog that we've come into. They're very easy to handle. You can actually do this probably within five minutes and have it back up and running. We usually encounter this typically overnight 
when a printer is switching out filaments from one to another, sometimes a little piece of filament gets clogged up in there, doesn't get evacuated, and then it tries to load a new print, print spool and it clogs up. Go ahead and tighten those just like that. Go ahead and put our cover on. You guys should be good to print again. Our next one is gonna be on the back side. So we're gonna just turn this unit around like so. Careful not to strain any cords. Now our second most common clog is actually up in this thing where the AMS feeds into this little unit here. Uh, typically when we've come to clean this out, we've seen a little bit of filament clog this area and the filament comes into here, jams up, retracts, and won't actually feed into your extruder head. So with that tool that we mentioned earlier, we're gonna use the round side. We're gonna come to this clear tube that feeds the filament, give it a little push, pull it out. Super easy to do with this tool. We're also gonna come over to here and pull the black side out. Now typically we will take compressed air in a can. I really would recommend using the compressed air instead of something in a tank because of the moisture in those things. But we'll come in here and we'll blow air through both sides. And typically you'll find that there's a little piece of filament clogging that right there. You'll be able to just put it, hook it all back up just like it was before. And you guys should be good to rock and roll. And our number three clog is happening in the inside of our AMS. So super easy to disassemble this thing. If you guys haven't seen our other video on it, we're just gonna go ahead, get the cords disconnected. We're gonna disconnect the power cord, communication cord. We're gonna open this up. Now you're gonna see up in here, if we remove our filament, there's a little tab to extract the tube. So we're just gonna put two fingers, one on each side, give that a push, pull that out of there. And if you have the clog up in here, you're gonna to wanna to get your Allen key and we're gonna loosen up two screws. That's all it takes to open this thing up. Very easy to do maintenance on this thing if you're gonna clean it. I guess while you're in here, you can check your bags, make sure those don't need to be replaced. Okay, once those are loose, we're gonna rock this back from the back side. Now be careful when you're taking this out, you guys, there is a little bit of a tolerance issue. So we're just gonna give that a little squeeze, rock that up. Be careful, there is two cables attached to this. You can see down here. If you're more comfortable taking these off, go right ahead. We're just gonna leave them in for this demonstration, but there's no way to mess those up when you go to put them back, they are different. You can see right here, we got all four of our filament spools coming into one junction area. Now typically we've seen when this thing gets clogged, there's actually a little ball of like filament debris that happens. If you have a jam further up in the machine and your AMS tries to feed that filament, it actually grinds the filament away with this little gear system. And then it leaves a bunch of burrs and debris inside of there and kind of gum up and clog up. So for us, usually to fix this, you come down here, we're gonna extract all four tubes and since this is ready open again, we use a can of air. We spray in this side, spray up in all four of these just to make sure that that clog is free. And then we go ahead and spin this just to make sure that everything's good on that. And then of course, after you're done with that, you're gonna go ahead and put all four tubes back in the exact same position. One, two, three, and four. Again, make sure your cables are installed. We're gonna slide the front up underneath, rock it back. Again, make clearance for that little tab. Set that in there. Make sure you got your screws in there. Tighten them up. Then we're gonna go back to the back side. You definitely wanna make sure you guys get this put in all the way. There is a little bit of friction on that rubber grommet. Give it a little push and tug it back to make sure it's seated properly. 
And that is the third clog that we usually come across. If you guys like the video, if you want to see more, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. We will catch you on the next one. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.